While Spotify does provide a detailed and deep catalog of music from all corners of the globe complemented by an elegant UI, Hi-Fi system integration is a hit or miss for now. For the die-hard audiophiles out there, Spotify gave them the choice to utilize Aug Vorbis, which unfortunately is pretty lossy, as their psychoacoustic compression algorithm kinda strips away the musical nuances to compress the file down to 320 kpps. In this scenario, would a dedicated DAC help? Should you get yourself a DAC if Spotify is your only means of music? Let's find out in our video today. Having trouble creating your online course video? Hmm. At Ten Studio, we specialize in creating video courses for instructors like you. Hmm. With our 7 years of experience and 80 plus completed projects, we're confident that we can make your course engaging and easy to understand. To get more students and increase your earnings through attractive online course videos, contact Ten Studio today. If you're a beginner in the world of audio and are yet to learn the intricacies of music streaming, you probably would not need a DAC. Out of everything, a DAC, in theory, will make the smallest impact on your overall listening experience. However, there is a time and place to get yourself a standalone DAC and chances are with the right setup and equipment, a DAC can and will improve your Spotify experience. For example, if your phone, computer or other listening device comes with a subpar internal DAC, chances are it produces a lot of static or noise which could make an external DAC more than an upgrade but a necessity. Poor internal DACs are a staple of old school technology but in modern times the DACs you get built in are pretty impressive right from the get-go. Now, how does a DAC work or what does it do? You see, DACs or digital to analog converters work by taking digital signals from a source and converting them into a very low power analog signal. Said signal gets converted through an amp into a high power signal for headphone drivers that turn it into sonorous sound waves. While most modern devices come with DACs built in by default, you also have the option to invest in external options that drastically increase your overall sound quality. A good DAC possesses the ability to process thousands or millions of bits every second and the performance-centric one takes an even shorter amount of time with fewer errors which leads to a beautifully accurate listening experience. A DAC can give you an idea and help you to understand the song from the artist's perspective, which does not only let you merely enjoy the music, but analyze the more subtle auditory details. As any music enthusiast will know, the mastering of sounds is the final step in the post-production phase where elements such as compressing and editing the overall frequency range have a direct impact on the audio level for different instruments. Now, when you're equipped with a dedicated DAC, you can tell the difference between each individual sound and instrument, turning the whole process smoother and of course clearer, amplifying the overall quality of music and allowing you to pinpoint the more last-minute details. Kinda like observing a screen that comes with a better level of colors and higher pixel count, the difference being in terms of bass, treble, and mids. DACs also have a noticeable amount of impact on the overall distortion of the sound when cranked up to the maximum and can minimize it drastically, which is a core reason why a lot of people prefer a dedicated app to enjoy music. However, not all songs have a good level of mastering and in those situations, rare as they are, could sound worse because of the distortion in the mastering phase. Of course, in order to enjoy these high-quality benefits, you'll need to equip yourself with a higher bitrate, preferably lossless levels of audio. In general, when the music you're experiencing has a clear and less distorted sound by default, that's when you'll reap the most benefits from a dedicated DAC. A DAC is not a requirement, but if you prefer nothing than the purest form of music, then that would be the way to go. Now, a standalone DAC will not give you a boost in your audio quality as you need to pair it up with a bunch of other equipment to get the most out of it. Now, let's be honest, if you pair up a DAC with a C-tier headphone and expect to get an incredible listening experience, you're better off listening to something else. For this reason alone, it's highly recommended that a pair of good headphones or speakers to be your first priority if you want to hook yourself up with a DAC. With that being said, most of $100 headphones will see a relatively minimum level of improvement so a premium option is more than encouraged, it's almost a requirement. For the speakers, you'll find a plethora of speakers that are great and affordable at the same time but do keep in mind how with almost everything else, the price more than often reflects the overall quality. Updating your overall audio setup is one surefire shot to experience music in its purest form and focusing on only a DAC will yield little to no results if you don't have the right equipment. For headphones, if you're searching for a good price point, you'd be better off sticking between a $150 to $300 price point. However, exceeding that $500 margin seems a bit like overkill and honestly, you would not need to pay a king's ransom to hear the sublime details of music, especially when your primary music platform is Spotify. 
In general, a complete overhaul of your audio setups combined with a solid combo of headphones or speakers will give you basically anything you'd ever want to expand your musical horizons for Spotify. But then again, it's not an absolute mandatory thing that you must do and you won't be missing out on much if you don't. Either way, it's based on the user preference. So that was a two cents on should you buy a DAC if you only use Spotify. Do let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below as we would love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.